Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize the dialogue widget. Now this is something that is a little bit interesting to do. Uh, and one thing that you need to, to understand about Unreal plugins is that if you modify them, uh, then you might modify them for your entire projects or all your projects. Um, and you don't want to do that. But what we need to do is we need to add in some more functionality to the actual widget. Okay. And so in order to do that, we need to go to show engine content. And again, you want to go to the UI here and we're going to literally copy these three here. Okay. So I'm just going to copy these over to the content here and I'm just going to copy here. Okay. And you should see that we have three of these here. So next thing we need to do is we need to put the word my in front of it. And that way it is, uh, well, basically you need to rename them something, but my is a, is a good, so we have my demo dialogue widget, my demo reply widget, uh, etc. So the next thing um, that we need to do is we need to open my dialogue widget. Okay. So here we go. We have the my dialogue widget hop into the graph here. And the first thing we need to do is hop into this mouse select reply. And in here it says demo reply widget. We need to change that with my demo reply widget. And this is going to be a theme. We're going to be changing all of the references there. Now there are quite a bit and it gets a little bit, uh, a little bit cumbersome. Next thing we need to do is we need to add in the end. If we type in, um, actually we'll not end here, um, demo reply widget. All right. And I'm just going to um, basically turn these up here like so. And let's go to the first one here. So under this my uh, demo reply widget, we need to cast to uh, my demo reply widget, right? So instead of demo reply widget, it's my demo reply widget. And all we need to do um, here um, is again, we have to do set selected. All right, uh, just go ahead and we can delete both of these here. And there we go. Okay, the next one, I'm going to copy this here. And I believe the next one here is exactly the same thing, but with this selected. So let's uh, control W and let's drag that over here, drag this over here. And everything I think is working well. We just have to change this to selected and we'll delete this, move this up. Okay, so that's two. Okay, third is we need to cast to my demo reply widget. And all you're doing is you're really hooking it up. Now, I know this is a little bit uh, cumbersome here, uh, but it's just what needs to be done. All right, delete this here. And I think that's looking pretty good. We got one more. Uh, here, let's uh, cast to my, and I think this is the, the the demo reply widget. Yeah, demo reply widget, and then we're going to simulate. Click, drag that over here, drag this over, and here we go. Okay, so there, that is looking pretty good. Um, they're all demo reply widgets. Next up, we need to hop here and change this to my demo reply or uh, my reply widget. Okay. Uh, the uh, let's see, let's see, my uh, reply widget. Okay. And I think it's already there. Anyway, let's go ahead and compile that. And if everything works, then it should be good to go. Okay. Next thing uh, that we need to do uh, is hop in. Uh, to the uh, to the other one here, which is my demo reply widget, and let's hop into the graph here, and let's go to this owner widget, and where it says demo dialog, we need to say my demo dialog wi widget object class, change the variable type, and this should do what we need it to do 
And if we compile this, if we've done everything right, um, you know, there's there's a bit of a problem here. All right, so as you can see, we just need to change the owner widget here. Let's compile that again. And then, um, you know, this one here is a little bit more challenging. We need to drag this out here and say, my uh, select here, uh, the let's see, the owner variable here, my, yeah, there we go. That's working well. And then this is, it just should be mouse select reply. That's the one we're looking for. And literally we just should. And if that doesn't work, you've done something wrong. So when I was prototyping this, that didn't work. So it's kind of annoying. And then lastly here, we have one more. And I think you can just literally drag it over here. And oh, that's right. Um, play player reply. And then you need to uh, drag this replace node in here. And you need to drag this little node here because otherwise it won't work on mobile. That's what this is for. All right. OK, so if you've done everything right, then um, it should still work. But if we go back into uh, the third person game mode here, right? What we need to change this to is my uh, dialogue widget, OK? And then if we compile that, everything should work. Now, what this means here is that nothing has changed other than the fact that we've moved over uh, these to our own. So now we can go and and essentially make our own here. So let's go ahead, let's add in a new folder. We'll call this dialogue source. All right, and then from our content here, just do a little bit of housekeeping, go to dialogue source here, and we will go to move here. Okay, and, and again, I don't think that will do anything. Uh, there we go. We still have the exact same item here. And that is working out pretty good. Okay, so now that we have that, um, let's just see. Um, basically, uh, we can now customize it. Okay, so that was complicated. It actually took me a little bit of time to do that. Um, so if you don't do it, watch this video a few times. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.